Welcome back to another weekly update from the State Capitol. I'm Richard Kajewski, Mabe's Public Affairs and Communications Director. Last week, the legislature spent most of their time in committees putting together their budget bills. The legislature has approximately two more weeks to finalize their finance bills and balance the state's budget. I anticipate little action on controversial bills and social issues until the legislative bodies begin to act on these major finance bills. Last week, the House DFL majority unveiled their $46 million job creation proposal for the next biennium. Their proposal included $20 million to the Minnesota Investment Fund to help companies bring quality jobs to Minnesota. It includes $33 in private investment for every $1 loaned out. Another investment includes $18 million for a job creation fund at the Department of Employment and Economic Development that would be used as a tool to help businesses make capital investments and create jobs in Minnesota. In addition, the House DFL released a $250 million property tax relief package for Minnesotans that includes direct property tax relief to homeowners and renters. The plan will provide direct property tax relief to middle-class Minnesotans totaling $157 million for the Homestead Credit Refund. More than 300,000 homeowners will see this refund through the Homestead Credit Refund Program and the average homeowner will see their property tax refund increase by $212. Minnesotans will be notified if they're eligible for a refund to ensure that more homeowners are taking full advantage of the program. Property taxes have risen 86% in the last decade and this refund will help turn back those increases totaling more than $370 million. In addition to providing middle-class homeowners a refund, the DFL proposal includes $15.5 million for the renter's credit. This refund would provide direct property tax relief to low- and middle-income renters. That's all for this week. For more up-to-date information, keep informed by visiting the MAPE webpage, Facebook page, and Twitter feed. See you next week with another update from the Capitol.